Growing pomegranates in containers is possible because it has a shallow root system compared to other fruit trees. Besides that, it doesn't take years to fruit. And in a pot, you can control its environment by shifting it indoors in cold weather. The compact size is also suitable for balconies and patios. Best Dwarf Pomegranate Varieties for Pods Nana It grows compact, floriferous, and is considered robust and cold-hardy. It grows in USD Zone 7 to 11. Provence It can tolerate temperatures down to 5 degrees Fahrenheit and can be grown in cold climates. State Fair State Fair is a manageable variety for containers. It can grow up to 1.5 meters tall in USDA Zones 7 to 11. After finding the right variety, you can propagate it by cuttings or seeds from spring to summer when the temperature is around 68 degrees Fahrenheit. But it's better to buy a two to three year old well-grafted plant from a reputable nursery or online. This way, you don't have to wait long for fruits. Next comes the pot size. Either start in a big pot like a wine barrel or half whiskey barrel or a large bucket, or plant it in a standard eight to 12 inch size container and gradually change to bigger size. Once it's planted, you have to remember some basic requirements of this plant. Location. Choose the sunniest location to keep your pomegranate plant happy and healthy. The more sun it receives, the more it will fruit. However, it also thrives in partial shade, but it makes the plant bloom and fruit less. It's also possible to cultivate a pomegranate tree indoors near a window seal if it receives full sun. Soil. It grows best in loamy, sandy, or clay soil. It's tolerant of moderately acidic to slightly alkaline soil and does best in a soil pH range of 5.5 to 7.2. Pick a well-draining growing medium and add plenty of organic matter for best fruits. Adding compost or well-rotted manure to the soil is also a good idea to improve soil texture and beneficial plant elements. Watering. Water the plant well and keep the soil slightly moist all the time. Do not let the growing medium dry out completely. It would be best to water the plant when the topsoil feels a bit dry to the touch. Fertilizer. During the growing season, fertilize the plant using a liquid 888 fertilizer. You can also go for the blend formulated for citrus trees or tomatoes. A pomegranate tree in a pot often becomes zinc deficient, indicated by yellowing leaves. To overcome this, you can spray diluted zinc solution on foliage. The application of compost or manure is also beneficial. Overwintering Pomegranate is a deciduous tree that worships the sun. Most of its species are sensitive to frost. It sheds its leaves and becomes dormant below freezing temperature. If you're growing it below USDA Zone 9, the best place to keep the pomegranate plant in winter is the greenhouse, garage, or basement that remains warm. The indoor temperature should not fall below 37 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the optimum low temperature for most pomegranate varieties is 45 degrees Fahrenheit. In spring, bring back the plant to a warm and bright place to gradually acclimate to the climate. A south-facing window is also good. Once the temperature is above 45 degrees Fahrenheit, place it outside. When the plant shows the first sign of growth and forms a few fully developed leaves, you can start to fertilize it and give it more water. Pruning. Pruning is necessary to maintain the desired shape of your pomegranate tree and encourage flowering and fruiting. It's best done after all danger of frost has passed when the tree is about to start growing in spring. Prune off weak, dead, and undesirable branches to direct the shrub's energy to the right parts and shorten long branches to encourage flowering. Diseases, pests, and other problems. The pomegranate tree is not very vulnerable to pests and diseases. It's mainly attacked by fruit flies, white flies, and pomegranate butterflies. You'll also need to keep an eye on mealybugs and aphids, especially during the flowering period. Harvesting pomegranate. Generally, the fruit will ripen three to six months after the appearance of flowers. Harvest pomegranate when the crust of the fruit is intense red. Cut the fruit stem using sharp pruning shears or a knife. Leave us your comments below if you're growing it or planning on growing it. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.